The Necklace by Jidu Mupesson. Matilda is born to a low-class family with no money for a dowry. She is married to Moishu Loisel, a clerk from the Board of Education. Matilda, now Madame Loisel, had always felt like she should have been upper class and is unhappy in her married life. She hates their home, their food, and their lack of fine clothing and jewelry. One evening, her husband excitedly presents her with an invitation to attend an event at the Minister of Public Instruction's home. To the surprise of Monsieur Loisel, Madame Loisel throws the invitation down in dismay, weeping and complaining that she has nothing to wear to such an event. Her husband offers to give her the money for something suitable, but as the day of the bull approaches, she is still dismayed. When asked why, she replies that she is embarrassed to attend the ball without any jewels. Her husband suggests that she has to borrow some jewels from her rich friend, Madame Forestier. She agrees and goes to see her friend the next day, greedily choosing one of Madame Forestier's finest necklaces. At the ball, Madame Loisel is a hit, elegant, joyful, and desired for waltzes. She and Monsieur Loisel returns home at nearly 4 o'clock in the morning. And only when they arrive home does Madame Loisel realize that she had lost the necklace. After a week with no news, Monsieur Loisel proclaims that they must replace it. And the couple finds a replacement for 36,000 francs. Loisel has 18,000 francs from his father's will and borrows the remaining sum bit by bit and making ruinous promises along the way. After all this, Madame Loisel is able to return the newly bought necklace in the original's case, apparently rousing no suspicion. To pay off the debt, both Mr. and Madame Loisel must work tirelessly. After 10 years, they are finally able to pay all of their debts. One day, while taking a walk, Madame Loisel runs into Madame Frestier. She approaches her old friend, but Madame Frestier almost doesn't recognize her. In sudden emotion, Madame Loisel reveals her entire star of losing the necklace, replacing it and working off the cost of replacement ever since. In response, Madame Frestier replies that the original necklace contained not actual diamonds, but rather fake diamonds, meaning the original necklace cost no more than 500 francs. For our characters, our protagonist is Mathilde Loisel, a beautiful lady that is not contented on what she has. For the supporting characters, we have Monsieur Loisel, her loving husband, and Madame Forrester, her close friend. The plot of our introduction. Our story starts as Madame Mathilde Loisel was one of those pretty and charming girls born. She is married to a minor official at the Ministry of Education. One evening, her husband came home with an invitation to the Ministry. A rising action is when Mathilde refuses to attend the party without a suitable dress. Monsieur Loisel lends her money for it and yet she complains of not having a single jewelry. Instead though, she was able to borrow a necklace from Madame Forestier. As the party went on, and by the time they were to leave and go home, Mathilde later realized that the diamond necklace that she had borrowed was missing. There were no traces of it anywhere. The climax is that they decide to buy a new one and borrow money from people each by each to do so. That's when they live in poverty for years to pay for their debts. The following action of the story is when 10 years later, when they're finally relieved of their debt, Madame Floisel confesses all to Madame Forestier, who later revealed that the necklace was a fake and was never the one she had lended her before. And the denouement 
uh, or resolution is when Mala Forestia reveals that the necklace she had her friend borrow was a mere imitation as well and only cost worth 500 francs. There are a lot of settings in the story, one of which is Loisel's apartment in the Rue de Martyr in Paris, France. The next setting is the pawn shop where Madame Loisel entered and the other one, the minister hall, is where the ball was held. This story is told from the third person point of view. The conflict of the story is an internal conflict or man versus self. The internal conflict lies in the fact that Madame Loisel is embarrassed by her poverty, creating a distrust in herself and people around her. 